There's a question that keeps bubbling up in the shadowy depths of online searches, whispered in anonymous forums, and even broached in those awkward, late-night talks with buddies. It's wrapped in layers of fear, outdated taboos, and a flood of dubious advice floating around the internet. What does masturbating every single day truly do to your prostate? You've likely stumbled across the scary headlines or forum posts claiming it exhausts the gland, triggers chronic inflammation, weakens your manhood, or, worst of all, hikes up your risk for prostate cancer. These tales can hit hard, stirring up guilt, anxiety, and self-doubt. But today we're cutting through the noise with cold, hard science, and I promise you the real story is going to shock you. It's the polar opposite of what those myths have been pushing, supported by rigorous research from world-class institutions. Buckle up and stick around. You're about to get a mind-blowing perspective that could reshape how you view your own body and health. To really grasp this eye-opening truth, we need to start at square one. What exactly is the prostate gland, and why does it spark so much concern? Imagine a compact, walnut-sized organ nestled deep in the male pelvis, positioned just beneath the bladder and encircling the urethra like a snug ring. It's a vital part of the reproductive system, primarily responsible for secreting a milky fluid that makes up about 30% of semen. This fluid isn't just filler. It's packed with enzymes, zinc, and other nutrients that nourish sperm, protect them from the acidic vaginal environment, and help them swim effectively toward fertilization. As men hit their 40s and beyond, the prostate can enlarge naturally, a condition called benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH, leading to pesky urinary issues. But the real anxiety amplifier? Prostate cancer, which affects about one in eight men during their lifetime and is the second leading cause of cancer death in men after lung cancer. For such a small gland, it wields enormous influence over urinary function, sexual performance, and overall quality of life. No wonder misinformation about it spreads like wildfire. Understanding its biology is the first step to debunking the fear. Speaking of fear, let's shine a light on those pervasive myths that have haunted men's health discussions for generations. You've probably encountered them. The notion that daily masturbation overtaxes the prostate, causing it to swell and inflame, leading to prostatitis, diminish in function over time, or even mutate cells into cancerous ones. Other tall tales include claims that it depletes vital energy, leads to erectile dysfunction, or accelerates hair loss and acne, echoes of Victorian-era pseudoscience masquerading as modern wisdom. Why are these myths so troubling? They not only fuel unnecessary shame and stigma around a natural, healthy behavior, but also discourage men from listening to their bodies. Prostate cancer is serious. It claims over 375,000 lives globally each year. But baseless scares can lead to avoidance of real medical advice or even risky behaviors like suppressing sexual urges. These ideas often stem from cultural or religious biases, anecdotal bro science on social media, or misinterpreted old studies. For decades, they went unchallenged, but then top researchers decided enough was enough. They launched large-scale, long-term studies to separate fact from fiction, and the results? They didn't just poke holes in the myths, they demolished them, revealing a protective effect that no one saw coming. The Game Changer arrived courtesy of Harvard University's T.H. Chan School of Public Health through their landmark Health Professionals follow-up study. This wasn't some casual survey. It was a powerhouse investigation starting in 1986, tracking nearly 32,000 male health professionals, doctors, dentists, pharmacists, and more, aged 46 to 81 at the key data point in 1992. These guys provided detailed info on their ejaculation frequency from intercourse, masturbation, or nocturnal emissions across life stages, young adulthood, 2029, middle age, 4049, and the past year. Researchers followed them for another 18 years, collecting health updates every two years until 2010, with a staggering 96% follow-up rate. After crunching the numbers and adjusting for confounders like diet, exercise, smoking, and PSA testing frequency, the findings were astonishing. Men with higher ejaculation rates had a significantly lower prostate cancer risk. 
Specifically, those averaging 21 or more ejaculations per month slash their risk by 31% compared to those at just 4 to 7 per month. This held true across age groups, with benefits most pronounced in the 20s and 40s. And it wasn't a one-off. An Australian study of 2,338 men backed it up, showing a 36% reduced risk before age 70 for those ejaculating 5 to 7 times weekly versus 2 to 3 times. Updated analyses in 2016 confirmed the pattern. More frequent ejaculation correlated with about a 20% overall drop in risk for low-grade cancers. Far from harm, the data points to a shield against the very disease men dread most. But why on earth would something as straightforward as frequent ejaculation offer this protection? Scientists have pieced together compelling theories, each grounded in biology and backed by emerging evidence. The leading one is the prostate stagnation hypothesis. Think of the prostate's ducts as a network of tiny pipes that can accumulate old secretions, dead cells, crystalloids, and environmental carcinogens from things like diet or pollution. Without regular flushing, these buildups might irritate tissues, spark inflammation, or even trigger DNA damage leading to cancer. Ejaculation acts like a natural power wash, clearing out these hazards and reducing the chance for harmful substances to linger and mutate cells. A second theory dives into cellular dynamics. Prostate cells naturally divide and renew, but each division carries a small risk of genetic errors. Frequent ejaculation may accelerate healthy cell turnover, replacing potentially damaged cells faster and upregulating processes like ubiquitin-mediated proteolysis, which helps regulate cell cycles and prevent uncontrolled growth. Studies on prostate tissue show ejaculation alters gene expression in ways that boost citrate production, a semen component that's often low in cancerous prostates, and enhances immune surveillance against tumor cells. Third, there's the stress inflammation angle. Ejaculation releases feel-good endorphins and lowers cortisol, easing psychological tension and sympathetic nervous system activity. Since chronic stress and inflammation are cancer promoters, this relaxation effect could foster a less hostile environment for the prostate, curbing oxidative damage over time. Collectively, these mechanisms suggest frequent ejaculation isn't just harmless. It's a built-in maintenance routine for prostate vitality. This long-term science is fascinating for warding off cancer, but I know many of you are grappling with immediate frustrations, not just distant risks. We're talking those disruptive symptoms that sneak up as you age, the endless nighttime bathroom runs that wreck your sleep, that persistent sensation of never fully emptying your bladder, a dribbly or weak urine stream that's embarrassing and inconvenient, or even pelvic discomfort during daily activities. These could stem from BPH, prostatitis, or other benign issues, affecting up to 50% of men over 50, and they're no joke. They can tank your energy, mood, and intimacy. If this hits home, let's pause for a quick spotlight on something promising. There's an intriguing video breakdown of a potent natural remedy, a mineral-infused spring water juice drawing from time-honored Asian herbal practices. It zeroes in on what specialists term a hidden prostate clog, using gentle, targeted ingredients to dissolve buildup and deliver rapid symptom relief without harsh side effects. Point your phone at the QR code flashing on screen now to dive in, or snag the direct link from the top pinned comment below. Pop it open in a new tab and hurry back. We've got more ground to cover on holistic prostate care. Okay, resuming our deep dive. Is frequent ejaculation a miracle cure-all for prostate woes? Tempting as it sounds, the answer is a nuanced no. It's a strong association, not proven direct causation. High ejaculation men might also boast other healthy traits, like better overall fitness or stress management, amplifying the benefits. Treat it as a valuable tool in a broader toolkit, not the whole workshop. To maximize prostate health, integrate it with evidence-backed lifestyle pillars. Diet tops the list. Prioritize a rainbow of fruits and veggies, especially lycopene-loaded tomatoes, watermelon, and pink grapefruit, which studies link to lower cancer risk. Add cruciferous stars like broccoli and cauliflower for their anti-inflammatory compounds, omega-3-rich fatty fish, 
salmon, mackerel to combat swelling, and green tea's catechins for antioxidant punch. Steer clear of excessive red meat, processed foods, and dairy, which may fuel inflammation. Exercise is non-negotiable. Clock at least 150 minutes weekly of moderate activity, brisk walks, cycling, swimming, or strength training, to maintain a healthy weight as obesity ramps up aggressive cancer odds. It boosts blood flow, hormone balance, and endorphin release, dovetailing nicely with ejaculation's perks. Quit smoking cold turkey, it's a DNA damager tied to higher cancer rates, and cap alcohol at one drink daily, since excess disrupts hormones and spikes inflammation. Finally, stay vigilant with checkups. From age 50 or 45, if high risk like family history, African-American descent, or genetic factors, discuss PSA blood tests, digital rectal exams, or advanced screenings with your doctor. Early detection saves lives, turning potential crises into manageable ones. Bonus tips? Stay hydrated. Aim for eight glasses daily to flush the urinary tract. Manage stress with meditation or hobbies, and consider supplements like saw palmetto or beta-cytosterol after consulting a pro. They've shown promise for BPH symptoms in some trials. So looping back to that provocative opener, what does daily masturbation really do to your prostate? The jaw-dropping, science-backed revelation is that it's not the destructive force myths portray— Instead, it may be one of the most accessible, natural strategies to support prostate health and potentially cut cancer risk by flushing toxins, renewing cells, and dialing down stress. No, it's not a panacea or excuse to neglect balance, but integrated into a healthy routine with diet, movement, and medical oversight. It's an empowering ally. Ditch the shame. Embrace the evidence for a fuller, fear-free life. If this MythBuster resonated and you're hungry for more science-driven insights, do me a solid and tap that like button. It supercharges our reach. Subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and never miss a beat. Now, your turn. What other men's health enigmas are nagging you? Baldness cures, testosterone boosters, heart health hacks? Spill in the comments. We'll investigate next. Keep thriving, stay informed, and catch you in the upcoming video.